you have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Ah, Colorado tap water. Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief. How's it going? We have some ideas that are gonna blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Watching contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about In the other guys. Your face, Ryan Lucan. There's I'm Birder of the Year, and your reign is finished. Uh oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. The LARP goes well. They deserve a little fun. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm... so glad you like it. I really do. 
Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. Back from whence you came. Poor Amelia. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. It's going to be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Poor Ducky. I hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. It's gonna be a long night tonight. Oh, poor Ducky. I wonder what's going on. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. What the hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I wanna broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Jed's crew really loved him. No surprise there. Love you, Gabe. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. The spring festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. and your reign is finished. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to- Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. I feel terrible for Eleanor. And I don't think it's getting any easier. that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. 
Maybe Jed knows where it went. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar? Where are you, girl from Rome? Appetizing. Hey, welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually, Judd pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. 
You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Alabaster daydreams. That's it. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans actually. But we're still workshopping them. workshopping mean exactly it means ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect okay so here's what i'm thinking i asked diane out on a date wait what and she's so into it she doesn't notice one ryan lucan swiping her laptop ryan carries said laptop upstairs acquiring damning evidence maybe diane and i still hook up not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, alright? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the. the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me.
Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. A month later and I can still feel the void he left behind. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Of all the people this could have happened to, why'd it have to be him? Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. to find out what Diane is really hiding. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Jacobs, it's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind?
kind of accident. Wait, there's something else. It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. What's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single? Semi-single? Taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa. <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. Yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. <laughs> Super. Real good luck for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. See ya. is pounding. <laughs> Steph, there's a very real chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my god. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me.